Hello everybody once again. Welcome to another tutorial within DaVinci Resolve from OBM Studio. As y'all see, I got the editor's keyboard. Let me check my focus right quick. As y'all see, I got the editor's keyboard right here in front of me. Just want to show y'all a few things that I've been learning about it, you know. So, with that being said, let's get started. Now I'm going to switch over to my actual wall. Okay, there we go. Okay, y'all see I got some of this stuff up here. This is when I was in Uganda. I took a trip there some years back. And this was filmed with a camcorder. It was Canon. I can't exactly remember which one it was. I still got it somewhere. But <clears throat> anyway, with that being said, let's get going. Up here, we got uh, F1 Sync Bin, F2 Insert Black, F3, freeze, F4, trans, that's for, you know, your transition, and F5, picture in picture, F6, swap, F7, video only, F8, audio only, F9, insert, F10, overwrite, F11, ripple, F12, fit to fill, and then this last one over here is ripple delete. Then, of course, we got this whole section here that y'all probably have seen on the uh, speed editor. So the speed editor, is just, it doesn't have this right here, this middle section. Well, actually, yeah, this middle section. The speed editor doesn't have that. I do not have the speed editor, but I do have the replay editor, and I will do a comparison from this to that. Thank you. So, of course, you got your two spots for the in and out, in and out here. You know, you got all all so you can use this for an actual keyboard itself you can do work on it because it got the full keyboard experience right here along with being an editor keyboard only within davinci resolve so now let's get going so let's see right here so we got this right here so i'm going to hit audio only which is f7 then I'm going to hit a pin, which is up here. Y'all know about that. Y'all see a pin up there, but you can also find it right here on your toolbar. Y'all see a pin up there. Okay. But anyway, there's a pin, ripple overwrite, close up, place on top, source overwrite. Okay. So I got that clip in there, audio only right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut it in half real fast just to you know do something with it hit hit control b just to cut it in half and uh then i'm gonna hit control b again i'm gonna hit control b again just you know make little separate cuts within the timeline for this particular clip so right now I'm going to show you right here. Okay, now with me using the scroll wheel, I'm using the scroll wheel. You see right there, I'm there. I can hit F4 for transition. I can move up and down, scroll up and down, choose whichever one I want, then it'll come in. But then I can also come right here for like duration of it, however long I want it to be. And I can also cut it. But then if I hit dissolve, as you look into your inspector, if you look in your inspector, you'll see the cross dissolve transition was automatically put there. So I hit cut out. Then you also got smooth cut. You hit that. You see the smooth cut comes in. And you can also make it as long as short as you want check the transition as you want you see how smooth that was so if you if you push over here if you over here and you hit cut it'll cut it all out you don't have to exact you don't have to be on the transition itself so if i go back up in here if i go back up in f4 for transition let's say i do uh no that's kind of corny Let's just, nah, let's just do that. You see that? 
Uh, it went fast though, huh? So let's change the duration. Make it a little slower so you can see it. What was that one called again? Foreground wipe. That's what that one's called, foreground wipe. Y'all got to excuse me. So now, I'm gonna get rid of that. So let's say I want to, okay, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it again, FB. So let's just say, do y'all remember how we did a uh, freeze frame in one of my previous videos? You would have to go to the edit page to do it, but you can't do it here. But on here, you can hit freeze frame with F3. Wherever the playhead is, it'll freeze in front of it. You see? It'll freeze in front of it. So you see how it froze and it started going back. That's F3 on the cut page, within the cut page. That's F3 within the cut page. So I'm gonna hit uh, undo. And then if I want to swap, I hit F6. So I get over that, hit that, swap it out, whichever which one I want. So you see how I swapped it to the end. It moved kind of fast, but you just got to take your time with it, especially if you're using the scroll wheel. Especially if you're using the scroll wheel, you got to you gotta, uh, move kind of uh, fast. Then let's just say I want to do picture in picture. I have to bring another one down in order to do picture in picture. So then I'll go, let's go. So then we'll hit picture in picture. Picture in picture, we'll go right here. Y'all see it pop up up there in the top left. So if I hit picture in picture again, I can make it go to the bottom. Hit picture in picture again, you can make it go to the top right. So the top one is the one that you'll be moving and changing in and out. You can move it however you want. You can change the position. It's completely up to you. So let's undo all that. Let's undo all that. Okay, let's see what else we got right here. So within these cuts, as y'all see, let me go, let me get to a cut, let me get to a cut. Okay, so, you see how you'll trim in? Trim in, back, trim out. Just hold it, go as long as you want, and you can roll. You can roll wherever you want. You can roll, you see the difference? The, the playhead moves with it when you, when you uh, trim out, the playhead moves with it, but when you trim in, okay, you see the, the playhead moves by itself. So that's how you'll know. So if, look, if you hit trim out, the playhead moves right with where you're going, but if you use trim in, the playhead moves without the cut. If y'all see what the difference, what I'm saying here. Playhead moves with the cut. Playhead moves without the cut. And then you got a uh, slip source. You see all you see? You can move the source, you can scratch it how you want. And then you slip direction, slip that way. Then you can roll, roll without the cut. And you know, there's that. And then also, let's just say you wanna, you know, put a black spot in there, you go hit F2. So you got a straight black spot, but I, whatever reason you need to use that is there. And then we also got, we did swipe, and you know, of course you can do audio only, then you, of course you can hit insert. So we're just gonna do this, insert, right there. So I inserted that picture. Oh uh, yeah, that's me when I was in Uganda. Let's come back down here. Yeah, that's me when I was in Uganda, driving. 
Yeah, man, I had fun over there, man. I was just over there chilling. You know what I'm saying? Then I hit undo. Let's just say I want to uh, put this one in there. And I hit insert. Hmm, you see? Yeah, I was down there chilling, man. Well, over there, I should say. Over there chilling. <laughs> but yeah. But you know, these are just some things that I wanted to show y'all within DaVinci Resolve. Just a few things I picked up. And then, of course, you got F10 for, you know, overwrite. So you see how that goes. You know what overwrite is. It just overwrite the whole area where the uh, playhead is. You know, and this is just within the cut page. So, you know, you got place on top, as y'all see. It also can help with the jump cut. I mean, of course, you can adjust this kinds of way, any kind of way that you want. You can adjust it. You know, let's just say right here. Hold on. Let's just say you want it. You can you you can do whatever you want with it. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, just showing you some few things. Just showing you a few things. And then you got ripple overwrite. So that'll jump in wherever the playhead is. That's where it'll go. So let me put it right here between that cut. You know, you got close up. So that'll get you one on top. Then you got smart insert. So wherever that's at, you see it. I'm pointing at the dang screen. <laughs> Wherever this white part is, that little white arrow that's pointing down, that's where your smart insert is going to go. That's where it's going to go. And then we got, what we did, we did the ripple, we did the trim in, trim out, roll out, in and out points. So, yeah, those are just some of the things that I just wanted to show y'all within DaVinci Resolve for the editor's keyboard. I will have more to show y'all on this and I will show y'all. I mean, I've actually, all my videos I've been editing with this, with this in itself. And yes, I still be going back and forth with the mouse because, you know, I'm just used to using the mouse. Y'all know how that go. You know, you got dynamic trim. And I mean, and it only works well as far as using all the functions within the cut page and the edit page. Now there's things you can do on the edit page that you can't do on the cut page. And there's things you can do on the edit page that you can't do in the cut page. As far as using the keyboard function, shortcut keys. Like however you use control uh, B right here. Of course you can do this on this page and the edit page. But as you see, there's no blade on this page. So you just can't hit B for blade on here. As you, I mean, but there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do that you can and cannot do within this page. But yeah, man, using that freeze frame transition, that picture in picture, those are some pretty good functions. Those are pretty good. Audio insert. Thank you for joining me. Hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial with the editor's keyboard. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.